There's a little baby squirrel coming down to talk to me. He was already down here. He kind of ran up when I, there he is. I don't know if you could see how tiny he is. He's about, mm, his body's only about six inches long or something, not counting his tail. There he is. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come say hi to the peeps. Come on. He's making all these little sounds. I never heard a squirrel talk before. The squirrel was literally talking to me. Come here, you. Come on. He didn't seem to be afraid of me. A lot of animals aren't. Or children. They gravitate towards me. Lately, a lot of dogs have been... <clears throat> I never used to be a dog person. I mean, I had one dog that I had to put down, and then I... It just broke my heart so much. I never had another dog since, so now I would like one. A, one small enough to fit in a backpack that I could just carry around with me. Since I can't have my kitty cats. <coughs> I got trespassed away from the house that I lived in in Birch Bay and I could not go back and get my cats. Can you believe that? They did that to me. And then everybody making fun of me and harassing me about abandoning my cats and shit. You know, all the trolls and shills out there to do their jobs, their dirty jobs. They're so fucked up, they don't have anything better to do than harass the elderly. <laughs> Uh, okay. I guess he's not coming back. He was so cute. He was only so tiny. That's the smallest squirrel I've ever seen. I almost thought maybe it was something else. Like a... Well, I could tell when it got out that it, it was about the size of a rat. But it was cuter than a rat. <laughs> so I guess he's not coming back. Oh, well. Hey, we got a short little glimpse of him tiny little cute little thing. Oh well, he's gone. So, bye bye.